everybody. This is Anthony with Force Fable, and I have with me Jordan of Force Fable. Jordan, say hi. Hey there, guys. All right, that's enough talking. Okay, uh, so today we're, uh, we're going to be going over uh, where we left off last week, which is a, uh, a set of peripherals, five to be exact, uh, that we think had an impact on the video game uh, industry. These are not uh, all-inclusive. There are uh, many wrong answers to other people. There are many correct answers, and there's a lot of things that we left out. Um, the fortunate side of us doing this is we don't have to care about what you wanted to see in the list. So anyway, um, all right, Jordan, why don't we have uh, why don't I have you started off, and then uh, I'll come in with the next one. All right. So first up, if I am correct here, I believe we have the Nintendo Zapper, which was basically like. The very first, uh, widely used at least, um, light gun, and obviously that led to a lot of other peripherals. So what do you think about that one, Anthony? Uh, I think that the zapper was the bane of my existence for one reason, one reason <laughs> only, and that's because that damn dog. Ah. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the, the, the light gun zapper was used for the game Duck Hunt, for the original Nintendo, and uh, as many of you also may know, that little dog that would come up and laugh at you uh, every time you missed a shot, which everybody and their brother knows you missed pretty much every shot, um, would quite literally laugh at you and take a little bit of its soul with it when it went back down into the brush to send ducks flying again. Um, so just to point out, I may or may not have broken one or two zappers in combination with a couple of projection screen uh, TVs. Uh, All right, uh, let's uh, see. Number two is a personal favorite of mine, and it's a personal favorite of mine because it was, one, it was a gift to me, and it actually allowed me to play what I still think is the singularly best video game ever created. Uh, that peripheral that allowed me to play that is called the Super Game Boy. Uh, mm. For those of you that don't know, the Super Game Boy was a Super Nintendo cartridge that when placed in, uh, you would have another little slot at the top that allowed you to place your Game Boy game into it. Uh, what it would do was then project it onto the TV through the Super Nintendo, and you'd be able to play using your uh, Super Nintendo gamepad. Um, obviously, the only buttons available were the D-pad, start, select, and A and B, but uh, that still gave that gave backward compatibility a brand new definition because Nintendo had opened up the wide variety of Game Boy games to the Super Nintendo uh culture, I guess, that may or may not have been exposed to that. And like I said before, it also allowed me to play uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, which is mm. still in my book one of the best games uh, ever created on the uh, big screen, so to speak. And real quick, little known fact, uh, I don't know if it's a little known or not, whatever. Anyway, little known fact, uh, the Super Game Boy also allowed for a small amount of color to be placed in... Uh, older Game Boy games, and more specifically, Borders. Uh, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that if you played um, uh, Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. it would actually give a Donkey Kong border around the edge because it couldn't fill the entire screen. Mm. So, All right. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one is huge. It has, it has so much impact, you know, now. Um, <laughs> and a lot of people don't even... Well, once, once you hear it, you... And you explain why. I don't, I don't. I think a lot of people are going to finally make that connection that without this, it would have taken a long time for yeah. another peripheral that everybody uses uh, to get to where it's at now. So go ahead. Yeah, exactly, and that is the Rumble Pack. Um, was that first introduced for N64? Correct. Yes. Yep. Plugged into the bottom of your controller, if I remember right. <laughs> um, this this one you might want to want to take over more than I, because I never really played a whole lot of N64. But. So the best, uh, the best, the best reason the uh, the Rumble Pack uh, for me anyway was uh, such an amazing peripheral for that point in time was specifically for the game Star Fox 64, mm -hmm. and it was for one reason and one reason only. Um, other than you know when you ran into something or when you got hit or whatever, the, the Rumble Pack would actually vibrate the controller in your hands. What I'm specifically talking about is at the very end when you're fighting Andros. And regardless of <laughs> regardless of 
which version of Andros you're attacking. Once you've finally complete, uh, completed that level and he explodes, it is probably the longest rumble I have felt in a rumble pack and of the strongest caliber. <laughs> Uh, it, it literally left that, uh, you know, when you're, when you're swinging a bat, which happens outside of the house, which we don't really talk about that much, but, um, when you go to like a batting cage or something like that and you've got the bat in your hand and you hit the, you hit the softball or you hit the baseball and that vibration that goes through your hands, it was damn near that strong. Hmm. Uh, and for an extensive amount of time, because as anybody that's played Starcraft 64 knows, that is a huge boss battle and that singular explosion alone actually meant a lot because it revealed your father and he helped you escape and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's for me, that's why the, the Rumble pack made, made such an impression. Yeah. And, uh, along with that, I mean, obviously it led to, you know, built in rumble and vib vibration for yep. basically every controller after that. Um, so huge, huge there. All right. Uh, so would you like to take the next one, sir? <laughs> yeah, I'll keep talking. It's cool. Um, okay, so uh, that actually leads into the, the next peripheral, which is the memory card. Um, and, you know, we were specifically going to mention the 8 megabyte uh, PlayStation memory card. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would like to bring up as an honorable mention first the Dreamcast memory card. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I bring that up is because it was the only one that I've seen so far. Um uh, mainstream anyway, that had the ability to be controlled. Um, you could remove it from the Dreamcast controller, which is another uh, benefit is that it, it actually plugged into the controller. You could remove it from the controller and actually uh, go through your information uh, via little buttons and a little little digital screen, same thing you saw on, on older uh, radio clocks or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's just as, as an honorable mention. But um, what we're specifically talking about, though, of course, is the the good old-fashioned 8-megabyte uh, uh, Sony PlayStation memory card. And I'm not sure about you, Jordan, but I, I know for me, um, at least with the PlayStation 2, because um, I didn't really dabble in PlayStation 1 much, but yeah. I did use them with PlayStation 2, uh, I had a memory card for pretty much every game. But it's just it, it's it's the idea of being able to save your entire, pretty much your entire gaming library on one little, you know, one by two card, um, you know, no more than, than eight megabytes, which nowadays you can't even get a, a, a thumbnail for eight megabytes. Uh, so back when eight megabyte, eight megabytes was enough storage. For yeah. This. Now nothing uh, seems to be enough. <laughs> no. So, you know, we we covered the the Nintendo Zapper, the Super Game Boy, you know, those are the few generations ago, and then we covered the memory card and Rumble Pack, and that was, you know, kind of the next generation after that. So, I mean, if we had to pick one from, um, like, current gen, um, peripheral or, you know, I mean, in your, in your mind, uh, what would be that peripheral? Well, for me, um... I guess I would have to go with, with motion sensing. Uh, and I realize it's not a peripheral in and of itself uh, in that I'm not, you know, pulling out a particular console. I'm more talking about the idea that motion sensing brought to the console players or to the, to the console generation. Uh, so much so, it affected uh, console gaming so much so that Nintendo actually based, you know, one of their platforms entirely on motion sensing, the Wii. Uh, using the, the nunchuck controller, and it's it's actually pretty funny what happened after that, um, because as the Wii actually gained momentum in the, the family games industry and using the Wii, the Wii mode and the, the nunchuck and everything like that, and in dancing games and in, in bowling games like Wii bowling things like that, um, the uh, the president of uh, of, of Sony, uh, the the PlayStation, mm -hmm. um, actually made a joke at one point that it looked like players were, were playing with a lollipop um, in that he didn't see uh, motion gaming ever really going anywhere. No. And then, <laughs> not too long after that, they, <laughs> they come up with the PlayStation Move. Which, which... literally looks like a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that, that was pretty funny in my eyes, but it it again opened up that that whole idea that that motion gaming was actually coming into heavily into play that even a giant like Sony 
<coughs> was going to follow in Nintendo's footsteps and actually try to put forth uh, motion sensing gameplay. Uh, everybody knows that did not turn out well at all. Fast forward a little bit past that, and you see uh, Microsoft take what we did, what Sony did, mix it together, remove the controller, but kept the camera. Yeah. And we all know that as the Kinect. Mm -hmm. um, that is a step above motion gameplay in that there is no controller required. There's just your body. Yeah, and I mean, obviously there's a lot of people who say, like, oh, the Wii is a novelty, Kinect is a novelty, Move just kind of crashed and burned. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I follow Xbox quite a bit, and there's obviously been the news out there of, um, like, is Connect integrated into the system, you know, and all that. And, I mean, uh, personally, I'm I'm looking forward to see what they do with it. I mean, yeah. I, Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of just the whole, like, waving your limbs about and all that, but I feel like there is a lot of potential there if they refine it and they use it in some good ways. I think I, I think it's it's looking up, and I think it's going to be uh, it's going to take a little bit to be widely accepted by yeah. you know anything beyond the casual gamer or the family gamer. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's it's going to get its 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 due time, and it's going to be enjoyable by a lot of people. Um, so all right, well, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, next week, I think we're going to be talking about uh, controllers. Is that right? Uh, yeah, controllers. We were gonna. You know, we we're going to do that this week, but we decided to just split it into two separate episodes um, because I know I don't know about you, but I know I could talk about controllers themselves for probably for the whole Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I think uh, I think for, for sake of time, what, what we plan on doing is using using that time to discuss, uh, well, discuss the major differences between the controllers. And mm -hmm. then I think at the end, uh, we should probably throw out what we think the best controllers are and uh, see what uh, people say in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, uh, if you agreed with, disagreed with, or want to add in your own list, go ahead and sound off in the comments below. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, don't click the like or dislike unless you actually liked or disliked the video. Uh, we don't do this for likes. We don't do this for views. We do this for you. Yep. So uh, with that, Jordan, do you have any parting words? I love you all. We should probably quit this before it gets awkward. Uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.